The author of Fullmetal Alchemist, Hiroma Arakawa, just dropped her new manga, and it is crazy! Fullmetal Alchemist will always have this really special place in my heart because it's the first non-Shonen Jump series that I watch seriously. Yeah, yeah, it was the 2003 series, which isn't canon, but I'm gonna drop a little bit of hot take here. I actually like 2003 better than Brotherhood. We're trying not to keep this video political, so let's sweep that one under the rug. This isn't the first manga that Hiroma Arakawa has done since Full Metal Alchemist. She made a series called Silver Spoon, which was good, but it was more of like a coming of age, farm life type manga. It didn't really scratch that itch that Full Metal Alchemist gave us. She's also illustrating another manga in Basatsu Shonen Magazine called The Heroic Tales of Aslan, which I haven't read, but I hear is really good. But again, that's not a series she wrote. But this manga, for lack of a better word, is nutty. So this is our main character, Yudu, who, yes, I already know. He looks exactly like Alphonse. Let's move on. And he's a little bit of a nature boy, right? He likes riding on his horse, going into the woods, hunting birds, that kind of thing, living peacefully with nature. Now, I highly recommend you pay attention to this panel here where he mentions that this looks like a dragon fart because you might already be seeing where this might be going. Now, it's clear wherever this sort of story takes place that they're in like a medieval time, like uh, Edo, Japan, that kind of thing. Definitely kind of primitive technology. So the next character that gets introduced is Asa, who's Yoda's sister. Now, it's not totally clear what's going on here. It's not explained in this chapter, but as far as we can tell, she was confined to this jail on some sort of special duty. She's not a prisoner. It's some sort of ceremonial thing going on here. So they talk a lot about other villagers leaving for something called the Lower Lands, which again is another thing that's not explained at all. But supposedly they're going to the Lower Lands in order to sell their goods. Yudu here says he's going to stay in order to help his sister and help out in the village. So we've said up everything and then suddenly Yoru here notes that there's another dragon fart in the sky and when that happens we hear an explosion and helicopters helicopters come out of nowhere modern day helicopters and yeah shit hits the fan this is where it starts going wild and notice it's not just helicopters here there's also seems to be like a modern day carrier airplane and then of course is your quintessential dark shonen opening everybody one by one getting murdered. Our friend who's totally not Hawkeye here gets his throat split. These guys are carrying around regular guns and just shooting people in the back of the head. So the grandpa here is noting that the ward has been broken, which seems to imply that he knows what's going on. So there's definitely some sort of conspiracy or secret going on here. So surprisingly, Yudu is able to fight back. He's able to put two arrows in these guys. I wonder why they don't just shoot him. And that's when our next character drops down, who seems to be some sort of little girl and, oh, and yeah, she starts cutting people in half with her mind while shouting gobble. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. I'm like 90% sure this is a mistranslation. I did try and find a Japanese raw of this, but I couldn't. I assume it's some onomatopoeia. I don't think it's actually gobble. So yeah, she just starts killing them one by one by one. Oh, don't worry. We're still not done. So this woman comes in and apparently she's actually Asa. And she just fucking kills the other Asa right in front of Yudu. So my guess is that this Asa is some doppelganger or something, or maybe the other Asa is. So as far as I can tell, this guy in the bandana was actually a plant inside of the village. He's not on the side of this little girl, but he also knows what's going on, apparently. This is where we get into the power system because she has this giant set of teeth with eyeballs and he has the ability to see them. And she mentions that, oh, you can see it. So from what I can tell, it works kind of like stands. And apparently the fake Asa or the real Asa's blood turns into one of these things and attacks the other Asa. So bandana guy whose name is Dara manages to take Yoru and escape. And I promise you we're almost done. He gives Yoru to this pendant where he manages to summon these two thunder dragon things that attack the helicopters. And they form into these two demon things who he introduces as Yoru's Sugai. So these are presumably the power system of this manga, the Sugai. And Sugai can have a number of different meanings, but its main one is like pain or couple. He also refers to them as opposites. So from what I can tell, yeah, they're basically a stand. You and your Sugai are a pair. So that was the first chapter. Take a breath. So I can definitely see the Full Metal Alchemist vibes in this. It really exists in that sweet spot between typical One Piece Naruto battle shonen and really grim dark stuff like Chainsaw Man. And a lot of people online have made the Chainsaw Man comparisons and I can definitely see it here. But I'm gonna be completely honest, I have no idea what's going on. But what I really hope is that they don't explain things too quickly. There are two things I wanna point out that make it seem a lot more like Attack on Titan for me. Number one, the first panel was kind of foreshadowing everything 
everything else happening with him noticing the jet trails now this is going to be much more of a stretch but stick with me remember how they were talking about the lower lands one of the guys passively mentions the economy's been really bad and there's a pandemic so hear me out what if this actually takes place in our world and this is like some sequestered government experiment or something the lower lands is where they go to get like experimented on or something either way i really like how they set up a very concise and basic mystery for us one of the best ways that manga can do intrigue is to put us in the shoes of one of the characters instead of having villains in some dark room somewhere talking and asking us to wait to find out what's going on instead we're along for the ride with yuru and it makes it a lot more enjoyable to follow either way this seems a lot more like full metal alchemist than silver spoon was and i am really excited to see where it goes make sure you leave your theories down in the comments because i really want to see what other people think is going on here i feel like we've really been waiting on one of those once in a generation manga since attack on titan and i think depending on where this goes and given the track record of hiroma arakawa this could definitely be it anyway i'm gonna be following this monthly and i hope you guys join me for that see you guys next time peace